Apologies for my last video. It wasn't that good. I admit it. I was thinking about deleting it, but what the heck, it'll remain. A card shown is a card played. So there's this YouTube account called Antisocial Media. I found him because I went searching YouTube for Tim Pool Grifter. This month or a couple weeks ago, the hive mind, the cheaters, the conformists, the unoriginal, they've all decided to spin Tim Pool as a grifter. They get the page views. They come up with nothing new. They don't teach you anything. It's not rocket science when I'm saying that it's called astroturfing. I left in this post. I wrote, Tim Pool is COINTELPRO. They or them want everyone to think Pool is a mere grifter, and you fell for it. All you do is keep feeding into the medium. Please keep in mind that the screenshot says nine hours ago. I will show how what remains is only my first post, and then his reply, which was, Yes, shame on me for categorically proving that Tim is a 100% grifter. And if you had actually watched the video, you'd see all the proof you need. X. I said they want people to think he is a mere grifter and not something more suspicious. So I wrote my comment, he responded, and then I wrote back. So you can see it was nine hours ago from the screenshot, and then four hours later I responded. I said he's calling Telpro. You can act stupid all you like. Of course he is a grifter. You're a grifter. I've found out that many people are cheaters, that you oftentimes have to log out to see if you've been put on shadow ban. So his hitting high username on myself did not work. It probably works on most people who is actually signing out and then signing back in. I'm only doing it because I've been a cyber sleuth my whole internet career, non-paid career. So I know all the tricks. I just took these screenshots a little while ago just to show the guy's deleted. He left up two of them. He left up uh, my original comment and his reply. He hid my response. So there you have it. I searched Tim Pool Grifter and it's an astroturfed idea. Tim Pool's a grifter. It couldn't be that he works for uh, the FBI or Homeland Security or some police unit or the Five Eyes. No, it couldn't be that. That idea, that notion shouldn't even exist. There are grifters and there are idiots. And that's that. There's no, uh, no one else. There aren't intellectuals. There aren't COINTELPRO agents. There are only conspiracy theorists and normal people. There are grifters, and there are people who are not selfish narcissists. The funny thing is, though, if you look at this guy, he's showing all the indications of being a drug addict through his face. This is nothing personal. I just go by the face. I'm not an angry guy. I get frustrated like anyone else, but overall, I'm fairly low-key. I'm not angry. Well, that's an Elvis Costello song. Maybe I'll use that. I'm not angry anymore. I'm not angry anymore. So I'm done with that guy. Well, I'm done with the internet. I'm done caring. I can wake up and do this rodeo stuff day in, day out, every day. There's an unlimitless supply of paid trolls. But if you look at his face, there's some weird movements going on. I'm noticing it in a lot of people. I've got uh, some video of Skip Bayless. He works for ESPN. It's hard to get him continuously. They seem to be not leaving the camera on himself for too long, but I can grab it. It also seems that Skip Bayless has shaved half of his eyebrows so that when they shoot up, it's not as noticeable. Tim Pool's got the eyebrow problem. H.A. Goodman is putting on two-hour podcasts every night, seven days a week, and his face is out of control. Anyone who's watched some H.A. Goodman, they know he's not putting up quality video. 